Hey guys, it's Celia from Sicker Than Average. It's almost Valentine's Day, so I want to tell you about the new Sally Hansen Salon Effects Real Nail Polish Strips. They're super popular by now, and we've raved about them time and time again. Um, for each special occasion, they keep coming up with new fun designs. And of course, they have some new prints, limited edition for Valentine's Day. There's five different designs. Right here, I'm showing you three of them. Um, we have Are You Single, which is this cool one, which has, you know, um, a metallic foiled effect, almost pasty like print with some hearts red detail silver and a little bit of pink in there we have love always which has letters written on it basically um love in different languages black and uh white and red and right here a very cute cross my heart design bunch of xoxo very gossip girly um against a uh, very pale pink backdrop and letters are sort of this nice purplish pink color so those are three of the new patterns um i am wearing already on most of my fingers except this one because i'm going to show you how to apply these i am wearing a, another really cool pattern it's sort of like a mod design lots of cubes in there is called how romantic next up i'm going to show you how to apply the nail polish strips it's actually rather easy it takes a little bit of time so that you perfect the technique but um some people have written in and said hey i'm not really getting how to apply this so i wanted to just show you so that you could get a visual for it now if you've tried this already when you open any single pack of nail polish strips you'll find an instruction pamphlet you'll find two silver tins that contain different sized stickers which is what you'll apply to your nails you'll also find a nice cuticle stick one with a very pointed end and the other has more of a slanted tip so you'll find this wooden cuticle um, stick and then you'll find this file the file has a dark pink side and a light pink side. The dark pink side is basically to file your nails. The light pink side is for buffing. For the most part, you're going to use the light pink side. So, uh, now for how romantic, obviously I already did, like I said, most of my nails, but there were some extras, because Sally Hansen includes 16 strips in each box. So that you should theoretically have a few extra ones once you're once you're finished. Um, I actually waited to do this last nail, so I'm looking at these strips. I think this one, of course, um, is probably best for the thumb. This one's a little too big. This one's a little too small. So now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to carefully. Oh well, actually, I should say before you do that, you want to make sure that your nail is dry completely completely dry i also tend to buff it a little bit very lightly using the light pink side that just helps to make sure the surface area is smooth and again removes any oils that might prevent the um nail polish strip from adhering to your nail so now that i've picked the one i'm going to use i'm going to carefully peel off this clear top layer next now what i want to do is I want to flip back this little tab along the bottom to create a little bit of a division there. So I'm going to flip it back and again carefully, carefully, carefully I'm going to take the sticker off of the white backing. Okay, so as carefully as possible you do that now you have the sticker right here. It's very fragile. Now you're going to want to align it with your nail. In this case, I'm going to have some excess. That's fine. So I positioned it on my nail. Now I want to smooth it out. Um, you can do that with your fingers, of course. But to make sure, you want to add a little pressure. And the best way to do that is, again, with the buffer side of this nail polish um, file. 
you want to press it down, 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 and on your nails. And next, for the excess, you want to basically fold that over the nail as neatly as you can. Um, you want to try to avoid creases or anything like that. Once you have it over the nail, then um, what you want to do is take this, the light pink side, and you want to file it off. And actually, you'd be surprised, but it's an excellent technique. It tends to uh, come off rather quickly. Another thing you might want to do with the cuticle pusher, if it's having a hard time breaking, you can try to put it along the back of the nail to sort of help it cut the nail polish strip. And then you can go and tear off the excess, right? That's it, that's off, and then go back with the nail file and sort of refine it a little bit. So now I've done that area. Now I'm going to focus on the excess along the sides and along the bottom. Again, I'm buffing to try to get it into the crevices here. What I'm gonna do next is with the cuticle stick, you can use either end. I like to use this slanted side. I go and I basically make sure to sort of tuck in the strip as deep as I can. And I also do it with um, sort of sharp motions so that I'm basically cutting as I go along as well. So. After I do that, I can pretty much, as you can see, peel off any excess. And again, you want to just make sure that you got every single sort of nook and cranny in there. And uh, if there's anything left over, again, take the buffer, push it down on the nail, so it's nice and even. Get those edges, get the bottom, make sure all that excess is gone. And now you're done. So now you have all nails right here. You have really funky nails for Valentine's Day. That's it. It's pretty simple. Um, definitely no drying time is a plus. And, um, you know, it's really healthy for your nails as well. Um, when it's time to remove, these should last you a long while, at least a week. When it's time to remove, all you need is a cotton ball and some nail polish remover. And you're just going to wipe at the nail polish strip like you would any nail polish so that's a really cool thing too and that's it um, I hope that was helpful check out the Valentine's Day designs they're available at mass retailers like CVS, Dwayne Reed, Rite Aid, Walgreens, Target all those great places so check them out very fun stuff